Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on engineering graphics. So myself, Dr. Renangi Sandeep. Today I'm going to discuss about how to draw ellipse by using of concentric circling effect. So in this problem, we need to draw the ellipse by using of concentric circle method. So in this particular problem, they gave a major axis of 100 mm and minor axis of 70 mm long. So in the first step, we need to draw the major axis of length 100 mm. So this is the major axis which is having a length of 100 mm. So once after we draw the major axis, we need to mark the midpoint of major axis that is O. So from the midpoint of the major axis, we need to draw the minor axis of length 70 mm vertically. So this is the minor axis. This is the length of 70 mm. So once after we draw this major axis and then minor axis, we need to give the notations for this axis as A, B, C, D. So for the major axis, we will give the notation as A and B. For the minor axis, we will give the notation as C and D. So once after we draw these notations, we need to place the compass at point O here. And then we need to draw the major and then minor axis circles. So this is the concentric circles. So how we can do means first place the compass at O and take the radius of OA. And similarly, place a compass at O and then take the radius of OC. So with the radius of OC and then OA, draw two concentric circles. So this is the minor axis circle, which is having a radius of OC. And then this is the major axis, which is having a radius of OA. So once after we draw these two circles, that is minor and major, we need to divide these two circles into 12 equal parts. So here, how we can divide these circles means, so here the circle angle is 360 degrees. And then we need to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. So that 360 by 12 is 30 degrees each. So now place the compass at midpoint and mark the angles as 30, 60 and 90 and 120 and 150 and 180. 30, 60, 90 and 120. So once after we marked these angles, divide these circles, draw the lines. So once after division, we need to give the notations for this division as 1, 2, 3 and so on. So similarly, the minor axis divisions also, we need to give the notations as 1, 2, 3 and so on. So once after we divide this circle, we need to draw the vertical lines from each division of the major axis. Like from 1, from 2, from 4, like this. Like this, we need to draw vertical lines. And similarly, from the minor axis circle, circle division, we need to draw the horizontal lines like this. So in a similar way, from each division point, we need to draw the line divisions. 
So once after we drawn these horizontal and vertical lines, we will get some intersection point of these two intersection lines like this here. So we need to mark all the intersection points like this. So once after we marked the intersection points, we need to draw the curve by using of these intersection points by using of HP pencil in smooth cut. So like a way we will get the ellipse. So like a way we will draw the ellipse by using of concentric circle method. Thank you.